Welcome to another unexpected DIY video. When we can't find it in the shop, we have to make it our own. And we can make it perfect, the way it should be. Today we are speaking on the perfect subwoofer stand for your hi-fi system or for your reference monitors in your studio. Isn't it cute? Oops, oh, hier geblieben. Here comes the subwoofer. We put it on the floor and we enjoy the music you like in best quality. Believe me. Are you ready for a short workshop? Let's go to the workbench. The workbench is ready. Everything is installed. We start with wood plates. And it's good to get some tape and mark them because later when the spikes are installed they only go they are aligned they only go in one direction and we first start with the feet rubber feet what is important you put a metal disc inside the rubber feet because the screw can destroy the rubber but with the disc it stays stable. And then we get some double-sided adhesive tape, small discs, and we place them on the rubber feet. Time to screw it on. Mark the point. First feet installed. This is the side for the subwoofer. Here comes the subwoofer. The same goes with the plate that we put on the floor. Metal disc in the rubber, very important. And another adhesive tape here. This is the plate that comes on the floor. And now we are installing the spikes. They come in between these plates. First we connect another rubber. Isolation is very important. And also the other side gets a rubber. Okay, and also double-sided tape. And for more isolation, we need some felt. We cut it into pieces, adhesive tape, and we install the felt. And now we can install the spikes. It 
So the upper part is ready. Now we should install the felt. And now we will install the lower plates. It seems a little tricky. They should fit exactly under the spikes. Okay. And we are ready. That's why you need one direction. They only fit in one direction after aligning. And as the subwoofer has its weight, they will stay and press together and bring you always good music. Fits perfect. A good amplifier and good loudspeakers, whether it's hi-fi or in a studio, is a must to enjoy better. And believe me, with a subwoofer, you enjoy so much more, whether you have a subwoofer like this or even a subwoofer like this. When you have the perfect stand, it looks like this. And I want to inspire you, make it your own. And believe me, this doesn't take much time. And you have this for your subwoofer. And by the way, you can do the same even for your main speakers. And they are satisfied even with a simpler solution. Because the bass frequencies, they are tricky. They resonate with the whole room, with the floor, with all the walls. We should isolate the subwoofer as much as we can. Less contact even he just has to move the air not the walls and believe me this brings a big effect i made some measurements let me show you the results the first graph was without the stand and there was a big boost in room frequencies and with this stand we came way down i think six or even nine decibels And believe me, this is a big improvement. You can hear it. You can really hear it. And it sounds so much more clear. Yes. So I hope you are inspired to do the same and enjoy your favorite music even better. Thanks for watching. There's much more good stuff on my channel. And we meet us in my archive or in the next video.